<laughs> All time for some more targets, eh, my boy? Ooh. Not directly to me, just but over our heads. A bit like a driven pheasant. So we're going to see him a bit like the other one off the top of the tree. There. He's going to come up off the top. He's not going to stop though. He's going to keep coming. So we have to get in front of him. Ooh. So as we see him, we look at him. We then slide the gun past him. When you've covered him is when we squeeze the trigger. It's look, cover, squeeze. Nice practice, son. As you look beyond, as you see him come up, you look at the legs, head, hat. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go for it. You ready? Yep. Here he comes. Look at the legs, head. Oh, not quite on the hat. We shot just below him, okay? So you've got to believe him because you've got to cover him. So when you see him there, just gently slide past and shoot him when he disappears. Okay, you ready? Look at the legs, gently past back. What happened there was he snuck a look round the side. We came up on him lovely. We slid him for, and I said bang, the gun went that way. Mm. The target went through. You've got to believe in yourself that you won't see the target when you pull the trigger. Okay? Went at the legs, go past him. Go. Yes! Oh! See, by pointing, it really worked, didn't it? Try the same again. Point at the legs, go past him. Oh! Just like that. Nicely done. Push, pull. That's it. Pick him up in a minute. Right. Two, close him up. Snap, oh, a bit more of a snap. That's it. Up into the shoulder. Okay, you ready? Yep. Here he comes. Legs, hat. Oh, dusted. Nice one. And again, you ready? Yep. Legs, head. Oh, you just pulled it to the side as you took oh, that oh. last one. Go on in. Good lad. Well done. Just that sneak little look. Mm. The idea is look at the target until he breaks. Don't sneak that look too early. Okay. See him and go past him. I got every single one except for that one. That one. Well done, my boy. That was awesome. Up it takes time to learn. Yeah. It just takes time. The second one we're going to do is the rabbit. It's going to roll along the floor. <laughs> now. Right. Nice and tight down. Step forward a bit more to the plate there. Line him up. And then we're going to look beyond the gun. We're looking up to the clown. We're looking up about there. As you see him, Look, bang. Bottom edge, squeeze the trigger. Okay? Are you ready? Yep. Look at the edge, bang. Yes. Oh, nice. No! <laughs> Do that thing again where it throws out to. Right, let's try it again. Bottom edge. You ready? Yep. Bottom edge, there. Yes. Fair scored. They like that, don't we? Yeah. Under the arm, push him across, pull it back, and I'll catch him there. So now, the rabbit. Oh. Now, see that blue post? Yeah. That's where we're going to see him. We're looking at the blue post. As you see the target, he's going to run along the tops of those rocks. We're going to shoot at him and keep the gun moving. First one's going to limp out. Look at him. Bang. Now he's going to run. Are you ready? This is your practice. Look at him. Bang on the moon. <laughs> uh, not as fast as you think. Just see how it has to the moon. It's not rushed, but it's not slow. Look at him shooting on the moon. Almost as if you're stroking it. All right? Looking for that target. You ready? Yep. Look at him. Bang. Oh. Good one, wasn't it? Yeah. Right in the middle. And again, you ready? Yep. Look at it. 
Oh, yes. Pass scored. <laughs> now comes the good bet. One in the air, one on the ground. Nice and tight in the shoulder there. Look for his bottom edge. You ready? Yep. Edge. Now look for the target. Look for the rabbit. Yes. Nice rabbit. Push. Pull. And I've got them there. Lovely. Right. Now we know what we're doing. Close him up. Keep filming when we've done the two. Keep filming just there when we've done the two shots. All right, okay. Yeah. Okay, up in there. Are you ready? Yep. Bottom edge. Here he comes. Edge. But, oh, just underneath him again. Now look for your rabbit. Look at him, look. Ooh. Okay. Keep it there, gentle. Now, pull it back. Yeah. Smile at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Go, we can't end on two bad ones. Come on, we've got to get one of them. Come on. Look and squeeze. You ready? Look at him. Bang. Keeps doing that. Right now, look for your rabbit. That was me. Look for your rabbit. Look here. Yes. Rabbit scored. Push. I'll catch him this time. Nice shooting. Nice. Well done. There's the leg. You ready? Leg. Nice. Nice. Rubber. Leg. Yes. Nice. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> Good. Not bad. <laughs> Touch him and squeeze. <laughs> You've got a little bit more time. It's quick, but it's not rushed. Okay, a bit more time than you can, but it is still quick. Yeah, baby. You ready? Yeah. Not sure ones. Look at him. You were way ahead, but you still got him because you focused on him. You ready? Yeah. Edge. Nice. Go with your rabbit. Look in, look. In. Nice. Oh, nice one. We've got to stop there, haven't we? That was good shooting. Here he comes. Look at him. Yeah, I got him. And again, here he comes. Look in, look in. So guys, hope you enjoyed that. Oh my goodness, was that cool or what? Sir? It was fun! He did really well. It just takes time. It's just saying to David, guys, that you know he's, he's still only nine. He doesn't have his sort of teenage muscles yet, so it's not easy. But you got, I think, about seventy percent of them all, all the time. Yeah, it was just when we got to the rabbit thing. I was very good at the actual I rabbit bit. It's just a bit going up. I was not that's, good at that. That's the difficult ones. It takes time to learn, so these things take a long time to learn. You can't beat yourself up. Beginners or experienced, all welcome. I know everybody wants to just shoot and hit them every time, but you've got to learn. It takes a lot of time. With video games, um, you know with video games they always show just a shotgun shell, this bit silver, this bit just red, and that's what every single shotgun shell looks like? No! No! David's got some yellow shotgun shells and a broken piece of clay pigeon and an actual clay pigeon. That's just the memory job. Yeah, we're going to put it in my memory box. I'll show you them when we get up, guys, but what we're going to do now is head off. We're going to pass Loch Morlock that we stopped at and we're going to go up to the car park where we camped the last time, eh, sir? Yeah. And I think every time we come to Avignore, we should do that. What do you think? Yes, the wind is coming up this way, guys, so I've positioned the Land Rover right here so I can get some food. David's just going to wait for his own business. Uh, isn't it just amazing up here? So here's the hot dog king. Are you going to eat all them? Yep. Can I have one later? Yep. Because I could have chopped the hot dogs in my pot noodle, and that would make a proper yep. meal, wouldn't it? Yep. Nice. Yep. Up we come. Yes, it's a lot cooler up here. Obviously, guys, the more altitude, the cooler it gets. The hot dog king. Yeah, 
should just leave it open for us, son. There you go. Got you put two in there. And we will have one of them if that's okay, son. That'd be quite nice. <laughs> Check it out. I'll tell you something. These kilts are so warm, it's unbelievable, guys. I'm gonna have to get my sporing up to get a nice sporing for it, eh, son? Yeah. But we're looking good. I like it. Yeah, so pot noodles, they need boiling water, so that's what we're doing at the moment. Getting some of this boiling water on. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I haven't had the old kilt on for a while, actually, guys. This is Scotland the Brave Ancient. That's what this is. Never had that. Years, actually. My coffee is just brewing nicely. Yeah, so I've got a few little repairs to do, look. That's came away, but I've got, that's maybe just a bit too much weight, actually. There, the good old landowners. Oh, ho, ho, Sam, what have we got? Salt yes! Salt ice donuts. Because that's what we need, we need a little bit of energy, you see, to try and keep us warm, because it is actually getting quite cold in it, son. Yeah, we're up a bit of an altitude now. We're still going to go back to Loch Morloch again, though. That's what we probably do. There we go. Look down to the water a little bit. Oh yeah, I mean it's a lot higher. Usually this is a, a bit further out. That's where we stopped before, just up there, didn't we, son? Yeah, I think. I think so. And if you look up there, that's the mountain restaurant just there where me and David had our, our, our food and then we came down that steep part of the hill. It doesn't No 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 and you can out, 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 out. Oh they water. waterproof. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. No, it's foreigners with a higher car. And I think they obviously think they need no worries, brother. Yeah. They they need uh, to have the hazard lights on. Just fair enough. For what? Well, because it's stopped it at the side of the road, but the hazard lights tends to be if you've broken down or at least just to you know, warn people that you're there. Or they're getting Domino's pizza. Yeah. Well, it could be you. More sheep, more sheep, what are you lot up to tonight? Man alive! They're so cute, though. They are cute. So I'll tell you, if I hit one of them, it'd be a mess. One's already been hit, look, there's blood on the road just there. Oh. Must be trying to get some of the weed grass at the edge of the road, you see, because yeah. there's quite a lot of heather up in there. Too much heather. Right, chaps, let's do this thing. Let's go, beep, go, go. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh, look at them. Yeah, crazies. We'll see you on the way back. We'll just have to remember them on the way back, so. Oh, look at them. There they go. <laughs> They're so feared to stay on the road. You crazies. They're so feared to just stay on the road. Hey, Don't Tim. run out. Don't run out. Hey, John. John, I think I may need to get this grass. See, look, he's going to run out. See, you have to watch them. Yeah, silly sheep. Right, so Wait, they are basically cool. looking at the holes of the mirror, shall we? <laughs> now, the wild camp and up here would have lots of friends tonight, wouldn't they? Yeah, they You have to watch because the sheep look at these guys, they're running in one direction, but they might switch direction and run back across the road. Yeah, just like, oh, I forgot there's new grass over there. I need to go back. Look at that oh, one standing grass. in the middle of the road. He's just walking straight up the road. Now he's going to side view mirrors, you see. Come on, you. Okay, go as slow as you can. I don't want any of them. I can her there. Sorry, Missy. They might be like, oh, I need to go get my child. It's amazing how much ground they can cover. Now this is us just stopped at the side of the road and um, to look up at the castle right there. You guys can see it. Just up 
there, which is the way that we came from, is where we saw tons of sheep on the road. Uh, there's usually ducks around here, but I don't see the Leo Andover sticker. Where did the Leo Andover sticker come from? I just found it in there. Oh, right, okay. Well, listen, guys, we're going to cut it here because we're going to have a nice, quiet drive for the and relax. But listen, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget about David and Emily's kids' channels. All three of them need that either. Lord Open Sea is stuck. Yeah. Oh, no! But with the Barney family, guys, we've got loads and loads of videos to come, including wild camping and our caravan and our motorbike vlog, our DIY. Oh, my goodness. We try to do it all, don't we, son? Oh, he's dropped it. You can have to try and find it now. Yeah, so there we are. Yes, there we go. God bless, guys. <laughs>